how about um, sexuality uh -huh. and kind of being an advocate for, you know, positivity in mm. that that sense? Well, I do. Um, so I go on GB News quite a lot, and um, you know they, you know they're very right wing. I mean, a lot of a lot of my friends are like, how could you go on that channel, etc. But um, I go on to be an advocate for LGBTQ um, plus people, and um, you know I think we are we're at a bit of a crunch time at the moment. I think um, I think you know trans people are being vilified in the mainstream media on a on, on a daily basis um which i mean not helped by the likes of jk rowling um stirring up um just but basically it's my problem is allying trans women with sexual predators uh which is obviously not the case and and um and what it and what it does this this form of fear mongering um basically trickles down to actual real world violence for um for for trans people so like there's a there's a 56 percent rise in um hate crimes against trans people since, since last last year that's only that's in a year so um i do think it's very important to discuss these things uh, no matter how um you might get piled on in um so like whenever i go on gb news to talk about um about um, LGBTQ stuff, I do, I do, I do talk about like politics as well, etc. But I guess that's like a specialty subject. <laughs> oh my god, I get piled on, on on Twitter all the time. It's a toxic place, and um, and yeah, obviously it's it's an important subject for me. Um, obviously, yeah, as as a gay man, but um, and as someone who is interested in human rights as well, and I do I write a lot about um, about um, about queer people the world over. I mean, even even a few weeks ago, is it a month ago? Um, like Euro Euro Pride was cancelled um, uh, because um, of people right wing protests, religious protests, mm. um, and it's um, a disgrace, frankly. And um, so um, I'm also I'm 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 an advocate for um, for Sydney World Pride, which is next February. And um, I don't think um, there's ever a better time for uh, World Pride because. Um, because prides are being, you, you know, we we have like Hull Pride, whatever over here, or like you know Hertfordshire Pride that I've been to, um, which is which is great because you know we're in a country where um, where that's okay. But if, but even now, like there's protests outside, you know, drag drag bars or like drag story hours, etc. Like it's it's in the in over here and in America, it's getting worse. Like um, you know, um, LGBTQ people are being called groomers in America by 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 politicians by pe politicians who are like working politicians who have been voted for um and obviously there's loads of anti-trans laws in the usa so um yeah so um world pride is something that is essential it's the first time it's been in the southern hemisphere it's going to be in sydney um and i'm hoping to go i think it's i, th I think it couldn't the timing couldn't be better but it's um but it's something that is because you know people say oh you know you don't need pride anymore you, you know you know the, the battle's won i was like well you know, it isn't, and you know, the, the, even the fact that my partner doesn't want to hold my hand in the street, uh, depending on where we are, etc., means that it is that it means it's it's still necessary. Um, and and as I said, you know, we're in some places we're we're going backwards, including our own country and including the USA. So um, this is this is this is vital. It's so vital, and um, and yeah, and I'm excited to be involved. <laughs>